these tumors are actually quite tricky clinically because they do not feature typical factors of risk like smoking or exposure to chemicals. They can appear in a person of any age. We actually frequently do see them in young people. And there are no screening studies. So they basically get detected two ways, either coincidentally, for instance, when somebody has a head trauma or when they become symptomatic. But even on such a stage when symptoms are already present, a lot of these patients have actually a very good prognosis in terms of uh, having that tumor permanently healed. The biggest group of interest uh, of central nervous system treatment with protons are patients who can be equally effectively treated with conventional techniques, but we do it with uh, way lower toxicity. It is of particular importance for the patients I mentioned at the beginning, once having a good prognosis. Such a patient has literally a bigger chance to live up to the side effects of his treatment. And this is where protons come into action. They do limit the dose on the structures which are maybe not essential for living, but definitely essential for good quality of living. The treatment of CNS tumors with protons has actually quite a lot of similarities to the so-called conventional treatment. It is also fractionated, it means that the whole doses of radiation has to be given in a split way, so across a number of fractions, typically 27 to 30. The treatment in our center takes a bit longer in terms of a single fraction delivered, that is because of the way our machines work and they are built and also the high precision we want to ensure, meaning that the patient lies in the same way every day and is also uh, controlled. But other than that, uh, I think it's quite similar. Our treatment can also be coupled with other treatments. I mean, we can treat people standalone for their CNS tumors. We can treat them post-operatively. Our treatment is also safe when combined with chemotherapy. Mm -hmm.